Hello everyone. So this is going to be a very um, beginner's um, guide in this to the game of uh, Richie Mahjong. Um, I realized that there are videos that are like hours long, so I'm going to try to do this um, very briefly. Um, I'm going to have a link. Um, I, I'm using also using uh, the uh, the guide from a beginner's guide to Richie Mahjong. Uh, mahjong.guide, uh, beginner's guide over there. I'll, I'll link it in the description. So, um, <clears throat> just this very quick start here. Um, uh, we have um, different suits, uh, like the Manzu tiles uh, from one to nine, uh, pins from one to nine, uh, Zozu tiles or bamboos uh, from one to nine. Uh, also, uh, wind tiles, um, there are four types. There's east, south, uh, west, and north. And uh, three types of dragons: uh, white, green, and red. And each of these tiles, there are four of them. Um, so there are like lots of tiles uh, in, in the game, but like they're always like of this type, like just Manzu, Pinzu, Sozu, Wind, or Dragon. And um, and a hand consists of uh, thirteen tiles. And uh, in a game, you would uh, draw always uh, draw a tile, and then uh, and then uh, decide on what. Uh, tile to discard. So and then like you're trying to form a hand that consists of um, sequences, triplets, and like or and a pair. So you you your your win usually consists of four s sequences or triplets. So it could be like like one two three here. That's one uh, sequence, right? And then uh, triplet is four here, and then um, like a sequence here. And then like here is a um, another triplet and then you always like your hand of 14 tiles always has a pair so it's a, a set a three sets of four uh, uh, four sets of three and then a, a pair to complete the hand uh, it also requires a yaku um, which is uh, a uh, win condition like or like a uh, hand pattern uh, we can talk about that slightly later so we're just going to go through um like the other concepts and then go in, right in, go into the Yaku probably last. I think that's uh, well, it's, uh it gets it could get a little bit uh, slightly uh, confusing. Yeah, here it talks about Yaku. I'm gonna skip this for a second. Like there are like these three are the simple ones that uh, uh, like mo most of the hands would go for. Like at least like mo way well more than half of your hands are gonna be one of these three uh, win conditions. So we also talk about uh, like uh, terminals and honors. Um, terminals are one and nine tiles, and um, and honors are um, like these winds and uh, the the, uh, the dragons. Uh, this is also like within the uh, this is the Majao So uh, like tutorial, but like uh, the written version. So um, definitely give that a check um, if you don't uh, quite um, grasp like some of these concepts. You can always take a look at this again. Uh, this is an all simple hand. We'll talk about in, that in a second. Okay, let me just uh, scroll down here for a second. Let me see. So here we have uh, like um, in this situation, uh, we have um, four blocks completed or four melts. Like these are like completed. Uh, this is a completed sequence. Completed. Uh, Triplet completed sequence completed triplet. We're just waiting on one tile, which is uh like this is like the pair is missing, so um that, that's called tempai. Uh, when uh when the hand is just about to win, you can um go in tempai and then you you'll be waiting on this tile. Um, and anyone that throws this tile would be uh you'll be able to win. Um, usually like what happens is um like for example um. Like the chi is like calling a sequence, and chi can only be um, called from the um, player from your left. While pawn is uh, completing a uh, triplet, and that could be from uh, everybody. Uh, Khan is um, a set of four identical tiles. Uh, also, a like it's a, it's treated as a triplet, but like it also um, gives you some po bonus points at times. And uh, when your hand is closed, you can declare Richi. Uh, which is the, what's special about uh, Richie Majo. Uh, like as long as you don't call anything, like and then you just self draw everything. Like have stay here if your hand is closed, then when you get to Tempai, you call Richie, and then you you can always win on that. Uh, which is why for beginners, like if you're not sure whether your hand has a Yaku or not, then don't don't make calls because like 
if you make random calls like a lot of time it's it doesn't have a yaku and then you can't you can't win those hands um in some like ter like terminology it's like I, I usually call that a chicken hand which means like uh, the hand has has no points, so like, like a, you you can't win on a point that has like a hand that has no points. So that's the rule of uh, reaching mahjong. There are other sets rule sets where like you could win on that, and like it gives you like a bonus point. But like in reaching mahjong, no, like you you can't win on like uh, random formations. Like it has to be a specific formation. Um, Reaching would be uh, one of the uh, common ones uh, in which case like if your hand has no formation but your hands uh, is closed then you can call Ricci and uh, be able to win on that um so here this is a very uh, uh, common thing for beginners uh, it's called fruit 10 it's called a fruit 10 rule let me just scroll down to that Yeah, so um yeah, let me just yeah, let's take a let me just review this for a second. Yeah, so what the fruit ten rule means is um let's say you're in like in this case you're in tenpai, uh but you have already discarded one of your uh wins. Like this one this one's one bamboo is uh, like the win condition for this like a winning tile for this hand, right? Like let's say you have a uh, this sequence complete, this sequence complete, and then this you're waiting for one for so. Uh, there's a pair right here, so you're completing this sequence here. However, you have already uh, discarded um, uh, a one so. Uh, therefore, um, therefore you cannot win on like like basically you just like how do I explain this? Let me see here. Okay, <clears throat> so here, a player previously discarded any potential winning tile in their current hand. Uh, the potential winning tile one so is previously discarded, which means results in the player being through a 10. And uh, this affects all the runs, so you cannot run uh, any, like, any of these tiles. Like, you cannot run a, um, you cannot win from other people, a one so or a four so. Uh, so that's what the fruit 10 rule means. And um, every time this thing comes up, like it's really annoying, Like you have to self draw your win basically. So, um, so here um, it's talking about different fruit 10s. Um, if someone uh, discards this tile and you for some reason don't declare the win, uh, that's called a temporary fruit 10, which um, once it goes through one one cycle here, like let's say you draw a tile, discard a tile, then you can actually win on the win on like another a different eight mon. Like you, if you if you just skip this one, then you can win on the next one. Uh, as long as a, a turn goes like you 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 get your turn and then like what you what happens is that in the game like the through ten uh, thing will come up, and then um, after a bit of time when you discard something, then the this through ten thing would uh, disappear. Uh, that's how you know it's a temporary fruit ten. Uh, it a, a Ricci fruit ten, however, is a uh, permanent fruit ten. In which case, like you, uh, you reach it or you discard your own win, so you, you can never uh, win on, on anyone else because like people are looking at your discards and uh, and like like for some reason you have a like let, let's say a two man here and then someone throws a two man and then like you cannot win on that. So that. So you have to self-draw a different tile, like a different winning tile for the win. So that's kind of complicated. Um, I would recommend uh, checking the guide for um, more, or checking like Ricci Book 1, for example, for more uh, information. Yeah, like even like explaining this uh, might be a little bit much. Like it would have to go into like a huge amount of detail and there's so many situations. Uh, the, the most important thing is like try to be, um, like if you if you didn't discard your uh, winning tile, then like you would have won, right? So like that usually it has has to do with uh, tile efficiency. Like you're just like for some like uh, not having the best e tile efficiency, you you uh, accidentally threw away your own wind, your own win uh, uh, earlier. So that's how fruit hands usually work. And usually what happens is uh, you look at uh, 
your play and see see like why did I discard like this winning tile earlier and then like whether you could uh, have avoid, avoided it or like wh why why that happened. Okay, so we go talk about uh, Yaku's for a for for a moment. Um, yeah, so so there are three different uh, these simple Yaku's. Um, there's the uh, all simples, which is uh, like there, these. These are the three that uh, that uh, uh, this beginner class talks about. All simples is also called the Tanyao, which is uh, as long as your um, your hand comes consists of only tiles from two to eight, so it doesn't consist of any one nine, one nine, one nine of any suit or any of the wins. So here it's so one way is like you don't have any of these terminals or honors. The other way of saying it is you only have two to eight. So here you have, like these tiles are all like between two, like uh, including two of course, uh, in between two to eight. So that's why it's all simples. And you can uh, make all, all, you can make calls like this is a um, yaku that allows you to make uh, calls and uh, be able to win. There are yakus that are close hand only. Like for example, Richi, you have to. Um, have your hand closed in order to call Richie. Uh, so there are two like different um, uh, yakus that requires different um, requirements. Uh, the all simple one is one a very simple yaku. You just don't like uh, term like uh, from two to eight. It's like the majority of the uh, of the of the uh, mahjong tiles. In which case, like you can like complete these hands like quite easily, but it's usually quite cheap. Like you usually want um, a Dora or some like extra value on, on top of that. Yeah, I didn't talk about Dora. That might be <clears throat> might be uh, a little, little bit later here. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, that's one of the uh, simple Yakus. Uh, the other one is uh, Yaku High, which is. Uh, like any any triplet of of dragons, um, either um you draw it or you draw you have all three of them in your hand or you call a pawn from someone else, that's always a yaku. So like any any time you see you have a you have a pair of uh, let's say white dragon and then someone uh discards the third red dra red white dragon, you might want to uh consider pawning it because that completes your uh, hand condition. And uh, just allows you to like call other tiles, and at the end just like like uh, go in tempi and then win, uh, sat satisfying the yaku condition. Uh, there's also the prevalent wind, which uh, in east games that would be east. Like in you know how like in the middle here, um, it says here like east two, right? So like uh, like east here is the uh, wind that's uh, that's worth uh, that has value. There are other wins that don't have value. For example, um, like here, East two. So East is uh, Yakuhai, uh, and then like this letter that points towards you, like the one that's like right side up here, uh, West. The West tiles are also uh, Yakuhai, which means that uh, South and North are uh, called guest wins. Even if you pawn them, there there is no value. So usually they are kind of like um, not that great. Um, Usually you kind of want to get rid of them, especially if they're isolated. Um, yeah, the the ones that are worth worth something is like these, uh, let's say these green dragons or any any triplet of dragons, uh, or um, or the, the correct wins, which in this case here it's uh, east or west, and that's called a yakuhai. That's very simple to finish. Like you, it's just like a free tile thing, so. It, like as long as you call that, you satisfy the condition. It's a pretty easy win after that, probably. Like usually, it really speeds up your hand significantly, and you have um, a speed uh, advantage over uh, other players. Um, let's see. So there were three of those, right? So let me just look here. Yeah. So so that we explained Richie, which is a close hand. Uh, all simples, which is uh, tiles from two to eight of uh, any suit, or like uh, the other way of saying it is obviously uh, not having the terminals or honors and uh, the correct uh, wind. So we talk about a couple of other um, 
couple of other uh, Yakus here. Uh, so let me see here. So these all these wins are are called like usually we call this Yakuhai. Like it's the correct wind or the uh, prevalent wind or the dragons. We we usually just call that Yakuhai. Those are the ones that are uh, worth something. Uh, Pinfu is also very uh, common. It's a, a, a four, four sequences and a pair, and it has to be a closed hand. Uh, so it says here, Manzin Chin only, which is uh, uh, probably like messed up that uh, pronunciation, but that means uh, it's a Yaku that only comes when it's a closed hand. So if you call, make some like a Chi, like call, like you, you open your hand and you, you would never have a Pinfu. Um, Tanyao is Ping Fu is Yi Bei Ko, which is a pure double sequence, also a close hand only thing. So you have a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Or uh, in most uh, sorting, it's usually uh, put in such a way that it's like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 like of, of the same suit. Uh, two identical sequences. Um, what else we have? We have a. Um, Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going through a couple of these well, more uh, common ones. I'm not going to go through like every one of them. That's going to take forever. And uh, usually, um, like those are more for advanced uh, concepts and stuff. Uh, this is called all triplets. So uh, you can make calls. Um, <clears throat> like all, all, like if if the hand consists of like four sets of triplets and uh, a pair, that's called all triplets, and it's all worth uh, two hans. And uh, if it, this is all closed, then it's actually a yakuman or a double yakuman. It's called, um, it's called four concealed triplets. That's a yakuman. Like if, if this stuff is all closed, or it's a double yakuman if it's, uh, if it's a sing, if it's a four concealed triplet, but single weight, like, like let's say, you had a hand that looks like this, and then you you self drew this, or or um, or uh, someone, yeah. So basically, that like this could also be a wrong, in which case it's a uh, double yakuman because you have a a set of four concealed triplets with a single weight in this case. Uh, what else do we have? Toy toy honitsu. Yeah, honitsu is the last one. Um. That I'm going to talk about. Oh, the, we'll talk about this one too. It's called seven pairs. It's a special hand. Uh, consists of uh, win a hand with seven different pairs. It could be any suit or anything like that. Um, yeah, and uh, it's worth two hands. Uh, worth worth quite a bit, but it's very difficult to finish. Uh, you'll you'll see when you try it. Okay, um, a couple of other ones you want to look at is pure straight and uh, mixed doubles, mixed triple sequence. I'm not gonna, yeah, you can just read up on it. It's there, these are a little bit less uh, frequent. Uh, the last one I'm gonna talk about is uh, the half flush here, uh, which is consisting of uh, the same suit and then uh, and then some uh, number of uh, honor tiles. It could be you could have like two Manzu tiles and a whole bunch of honor tiles. It doesn't matter. Like it just has to be one suit and uh, honor tiles. So it doesn't have. Uh, or another way of saying it is the hand does not have pin tiles or sozu tiles. And uh, this this hand you can make uh, open. So like you could like start calling uh, Manzu tiles or calling like self or calling stuff and then just finish with the win. Like if it's an open hand and it, it's uh, two hands. If it's closed, uh, then it's free hands. Usually it's open. Like usually you, you're um, collecting uh, the same suit for the win. Usually like you don't, unless you're really lucky, you don't. You usually don't uh, um, draw all those all, all these tiles. Like that, that would like, that's very, quite uncommon. More common is calling, uh, let's say, uh, dragons or winds, and then just calling a few things here and then just finishing. Uh, the upgraded version of half flush or for full flush, which is, uh, you can see that um, when the handle tiles from only one of the three, like Manzu, Pinzu, or Sozu, so it uh, looks really pretty. Um, that's worth a six, which, which would be a Hanuman. Uh, if it's a minus, like if it's a open, usually it's open, and uh, that would be a five Han uh, Mangan. Uh, usually what you, what happens is like for this hand to be six Hans, 
uh, you would like either like have a red five or have a or have a uh, of a Dora. You uh, push the hand to Hanuman, which is quite common. Uh, the one last thing I just remember is uh, that this thing talk about uh, Doras. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see I don't see Doras. Basically, um, uh, yeah, I don't I don't I don't have the graphic here actually. Maybe I'll just open up one of my logs and then just talk about it. Yeah, so um, every 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 game there's a, a flip tile over here. Um, that's called a, like the Dora indicator. Uh, this is not a great example. Hold on. So here um, you can see that uh, like the Dora indicator in this game is seven pin, and it's always the tile that's after it. So like right now you can see that the eight pin is uh, highlighted, uh, which makes this hand like this tile have uh, is worth extra. It's like that's that just the tile itself is worth one han, and if you have a collection of them, uh, the hand can become really big uh, really quickly. Um, just maybe I'll just give a few examples of hands here. For example, uh, this 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 hand in particular here is um, like I have a triplet of these uh, guess wins, which is worth nothing. However, um, I could go into a half flush because. Uh, like I have, I only have like three of these uh, tiles that are um, like, let's say I, I discarded all of these and I complete a hand just with uh, like the bamboo tiles and the yaku, yaku hai, or, or the um, uh, terminals or honors here, then uh, it's going to be half flush. Or I could just um, develop the hand normally, in which case I could like reach or uh, or or uh, yeah, you could always like have the bad option of uh, just drawing everything yourself uh, and uh, go into Ricci. I'll have, give another example maybe, but let's see here. So yeah, the next hand here, um, like this hand, we just look at it and uh, like we see this is completed. Uh, we have a pair here, uh, we, like this is a pretty good shape. We're getting rid of these things. And uh, basically this looks like it's gonna be a uh, Polya Ricci. Um, maybe it's a painful, like because like maybe I can have four sequences in a pair, maybe. Uh, okay, yeah. So next one, yeah, I'll go through quite a. Let's just go through a few of these for um, for uh, a complete like introduction, I suppose. Uh, so this one um here I have a red five here. Uh, we do have a lot of other tiles, so I don't think it's gonna be a flush or anything like that. So again, this hand looks like it's gonna be, gonna be a close hand uh with some uh. Just drawing everything myself, not calling anything, and uh, get to Ricci, hopefully. Um, I'll just go through one that I, I maybe um, let's say it's this this hand here. So uh, let's let's just go through um, the game. Like so, obviously you draw draw a tile, you discard a tile. I'm just going through a log right now. This was a game I pre played previously. So um, so here I this start discarding uh, some of these tiles. Um, I just want to um, develop more sequences over here, but uh, I I drew I've discarded the green dragon and then like because of like being very unlucky I drew another green dragon so I discarded it again, but then uh, this hand like started to uh, develop like I'm drawing like better tiles after that like just like tiles that make sense and go into this um, go into these patterns here uh, so here we have two. Um, Two Doras, which is uh, at least this hand is at least worth three hands, which is uh, quite big already. So, um, so you can see here um, after seven turns, uh, I have um, completed this. I have completed this. I have a pair here. Uh, this is um, this is a uh, like a, a two-sided weight waiting on five eight, and here we're waiting on one or two. So after a while, um, yeah, I keep going, and I drew a two. So here my hand is closed, I can declare Ricci. Uh, yeah, so here you see a Ricci stick. I, I, I press the Ricci button and then I I, uh, I called Ricci. And then right on the next turn, I drew the winning tile. 
And then uh, in this case, it's a pretty big hand with uh, Ricci, uh, Zimo with uh, two Doras for uh, four hands are uh, 7,900. Uh, the points, um, like how much the, how much the hands are worth, um, you can find in the uh, document as well. Yeah, so this is one example. I'll give you one more example. Maybe I'll just find another winning hand uh, of mine. Uh, maybe this one. So we have uh, two Doras here and uh, it could be a um, could be a, like an all simple hand. As you can see, uh, the hand consists of a whole bunch of uh, tiles from two to eight. Uh, the only tile that's not in between two to eight is uh, this one and the white dragon. So let's see what we do here. Uh, if, uh, again, like every for almost every hand, it could also be a close hand for Ricci. So, so again, I'm just gonna say that like. I don't want to repeat myself too many times. That's always a possibility. As long as you don't call anything, you can always win. And like, as long as you don't call anything and draw the right tiles, that is. Okay, so um, so here I threw away the white dragon, and then uh, start throwing away like isolated tiles that are like uh, not related to anything. Uh, obviously, not throwing these uh, like uh, shiny tiles that are they're worth uh, more and. Uh, try your best to keep them. So here, uh, I completed this now. And then uh, and then here I could uh, draw, discard the one so, in which case this, this hand does become a, uh, a Tanyao. And that's a Yaku, right? So you can, I can actually start uh, making calls, um, like cheese and pawns, and then be, still be able to win. If I, if I, or if I have this tile uh, in my hand, then I cannot win because that's not a Tanyao. Um, yeah, if I if I make calls, I have this, I can't win. So, so I discarded that. Now, now it, I, I'm like uh, I'm able to make calls. So let's see what happens here. Um, so here, um, this isolated red five. Um, like usually you want to keep them, but like if it's like if it's interfering with the uh, efficiency of your hand, like you're drawing like more useful tiles, then yes, uh, you would uh, discard them. Like. Like you, you, like you can't hold on to this forever. Um, eventually you will get to a tempi, and in which case like you don't have place a place for this tile. So here I'm drawing um, some a complex shape here, um, just waiting for some um, more manzu tiles. Yeah, th this is this um, like what you're looking for here comes with uh, more uh, experience and practice. Uh, right now I'm just going to say that uh, like here we have a two, three, four, three, four, five a pair. So we're waiting to complete like over here, or or we draw a six and that's a tempi as well. Okay, we're also looking at a uh, also what's called a uh, a sanshoku two three four of uh, each color is is a uh, is a yaku. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so here I got to tempi here. Like my weight here is uh is the it, I I called Ricci. And uh, my weight here is a is a Sanzo, like a three of bamboos, and then I I I, I uh, and then after the Ricci, after a bit of time, I um, I self drew it, and this is worth uh, six hands, uh, twelve k, which is a really big hand. Uh, Ricci, Simo, Tanyao with uh, Sanshoku, and 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 Dora, which is uh, two so, that's worth that's worth six. Well, anyways, um, I hope that wasn't too long. Let's see here. It also I actually went like half an hour, <laughs> a, long, a much longer, much longer than I thought. But uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, definitely, um, uh, like not not like there are quite a few rules in, involved here, especially for uh, new players that have never played a game. I hope I went through some of the concepts and I, I went through a couple of my hands to at least give a few examples. Um, yeah, please uh, leave co comments or if you have any questions or uh, make sure to uh, like watch some of the uh, Jade Room Play videos and also um, stream on Twitch and uh, definitely should be able to find my uh, Twitch channel in the description and uh, I'll see you guys next time.